One alternate tiger color morph you can still find in the wild though is the golden or strawberry tiger. Just like white tigers, these aren't a separate species or subspecies, they're just a different color morph. And also like white tigers, their condition is caused by a recessive gene. In this case, the pale stripe or white band gene. The white band gene impacts the expression of black during hair growth, causing these golden tigers to have paler coats and more thinner brown stripes, almost appearing stripeless in some cases. Golden tigers are also bred in captivity, though not in the same high numbers as white tigers are. I have seen some sites say that there's only 30 to 50 left, however, there's no actual sources behind these, and given how unregulated tiger breeding is, I highly doubt there are so few left in the world. Which isn't necessarily a good thing, because just like with white tigers, golden tigers tend to be inbred and suffer many health conditions because of it. In the wild, however, these tigers are extremely rare, but are still occasionally sighted, specifically in and around Kaziranga National Park in Assam, India. Golden tigers have been sighted here since 2014, and in 2020, park authorities tweeted out that there are four adult golden tigers in the park, with new golden tiger cubs being seen since. The sudden increase in golden tigers in the park has initially been met with concerns of inbreeding within the park's tiger population. As I mentioned earlier, the golden tiger condition is caused by recessive gene, and for this recessive gene to become more common within the population, both parents would need this gene which is more likely to happen when both parents are related, as we've seen in breeding with captive white and golden tigers. These inbreeding concerns were amplified by the more rapid development around the area, cutting off wildlife corridors that tigers might use, essentially isolating Kaziranga's tiger population. However, some scientists propose that the increase of golden tigers in Kaziranga is a result of genetic drift. Now, genetic drift is a condition where some genes become more common in the population, purely by random chance, it's not like natural selection where some genes have a clear advantage over the other. With genetic drift, there's no apparent advantage with one gene over the other. Kind of like how golden tigers seem to have the same survivability of normal tigers. But both genetic drift and natural selection is important in evolution. Genetic drift does have the same concerns about isolation within Kaziranga's tiger population, as genetic drift is more likely to occur in smaller, more isolated populations, where these rarer genes may become more common. But who knows, maybe the rise of golden tigers in Kaziranga may even attract more tourists to the park. Although good luck seeing even a normal tiger. I may or may not be salty about flying all that way and the only cat I saw was this one. And I can already see that kind of cat at home. <laughs> and if you want to learn more about the rare and unique color patterns that tigers might evolve, do check out the full video on our main channel at Odyssey Orbis.